my goodness, the group of death in D. Dortmund with a precious victory over Newcastle. They are leading the group seven points. PSG lose to AC Milan. Uh, they're second with six points. AC Milan, as I mentioned, five. And Newcastle at four. But it's all to play for. Janusz Michalek straight away. Give me your reaction from this group. The group of death indeed. Who gets out of it? I don't know. I think it's group of life. Never mind death. I mean, everybody's in it. It's not a group of death. I mean, let's be honest here. I mean, big names, but uh, pretty average teams. And that's why I think we're in the situation that we're in. Uh, you know, you can, uh, I suppose, excuse Newcastle because it's new to them. And what they've done over the last couple of years is incredible. And I think ahead of it, uh, you know, I mean, I don't know. I think we could assume that in the company of such esteem uh, uh, teams, it would be difficult. And yet, it's all going to come down to the last game. Uh, these teams aren't doing well away from home for the for the most part. At home, there have been some great games. Speaking of Newcastle, the game against PSG. Just last week, we were talking about PSG as, as if they were going to uh, win everything. The great performance at home. And here we are going away to Milan. And, uh, you know, I don't want to say second best the whole game because they weren't in the second half. They came back because Milan looked spent. But... Uh, you know, when I, when, I, when I thought about it, ironically, for some of these teams, uh, maybe going to the Europa League would be the best thing because you, at least you have a chance of winning it, right? I mean, none of these teams are going to win the Champions League, even though they're big names. And yet you could say that they could all probably win Europa League and guarantee, guarantee themselves uh, uh, Champions League. So for some, of, for some of them, that would be more important than others because they can qualify through their leagues. But, you know, there's a couple of teams there that, there are question marks if they're going to see themselves uh, in the Champions League. Newcastle is one of them, right? I mean, maybe they're be better off playing in Europa League and finishing third in this. Notably, it's a very good point, especially after returning to the Champions League after a few years. Maybe just getting a trophy is the number one priority. Oggy, uh, Tom Collins, show me that graphic of the next upcoming fixtures. I want to see if uh, Oggy can give me a prediction. AC Milan against Borussia Dortmund on November 28th. PSG against Newcastle. Maybe it's redemption time in Paris for Mbappé and co. And then December 13th, it ends with Dortmund, PSG, Newcastle, AC Milan. What are you thinking here, Augie? Who is getting out? Any intricacies regarding this group? Yeah, I mean, PSG, Newcastle is, is the big game for me because mm -hmm. I think if Newcastle lose that, then that, that's them done. They, they'll then have a you know final game decider, I guess, against Milan for Europa League. But you know, Milan have put themselves right back in it by, you know, they've got Dortmund next and by beating PSG, you think that, you know, Milan got to the semi-finals last season. I didn't see them doing it again this year, but look where they are. So it's um, it's a really, really close group. And I, I do think that Newcastle will regret the fact that they lost at home to Dortmund last week. That was the, that was the big one for me because after beating PSG at St. James's Park, I think a lot of people were getting carried away. I think some people were even writing that they could go all the way this year, which was never going to happen. But I think Newcastle, as, as Jana said, they're back in Europe for the first time in a long time. And although they've enjoyed the, the Champions League ride, if they end up in the Europa League, and that's not by no means guaranteed, because like I said, that final group game against Milan mm. at St. James's Park, that could be the game that decides Europa League. But Newcastle in Europa League, you would expect them to go deep into the competition. And, you know, for a club that's not been in Europe for a long time, the fans love being in Europe. They take that. So obviously they want to stay in the Champions League. But I do think that Newcastle have got an uphill battle there because I just think they'll lose at PSG. PSG is stronger at home and, you know, flaky away. But I think Newcastle... They're going to struggle to get get out of this group. 